Hi there, it's DJ B, and in this video, I'm going to be going over the process of painting a medallion. Medallions are a fun part of the model horse hobby as they are small in size and easy to finish. I love painting these guys to practice facial expression and lots of different colors because they don't take much time. The number one thing I find with medallions is that you want to tape them to a piece of cardboard. Using some blue painter's tape in a loop, this particular one was primed in red primer because I paint with an airbrush the primer color really does not matter. For the first layer I'm going to start with aged white and I'm using my Iwata Micron airbrush and you can watch me just applying this paint in a very diverse stroke. Not necessarily just cake on the paint but layer the paint up until you have full coverage being sure to turn the medallion as you go to catch those little lips. Then I'm going to use a layer of bright brass with the airbrush flow improver and this is just going to add a metallic sheen to this buckskin color. I find metallic paint doesn't flow through the airbrush as easily as standard colors so adding the flow improver really helps. Then I use a layer of golden brown and I'm just adding in some darker points leaving some of that light brown exposed in certain areas obviously following a reference photo quite closely as I go. I believe I also used a slightly darker brown color here. I didn't film it but I feel as if I did just layering up some dark values on the areas that the coat color would be darkest. Then using some blue painter's tape, I mask off the nose area. Because the nose is over top of the rest of the horse's body, using some masking tape allows me to airbrush safely without having crazy overspray onto the body. So using dark sea gray, I go in and make the snout gray. I also go into the eye and add some darkness there. Then I also took a layer of some black just to darken up some of those features and peeled off the masking tape once complete. I also used the black to just airbrush some of the hair, but majority of this was done with just hand-painted Joe Sanja acrylics in black. I'm just going to paint that on as a base coat for the hair. Then I take some Vallejo Model Air in white. I like using this on medallions because it doesn't cause very much streakiness. And I'm just going to be adding on some fun paint markings. So he has a bit of a marking on the top of his neck. He has a nice little extended star. I also add some white onto his chest. Just having fun with it. I don't necessarily follow a particular pattern. I kind of just go with how I'm feeling. That's the fun part about these guys is they're really fast to paint and you don't have to think too much. On certain medallions though, Culturally, you have to be careful to make sure that the hair strokes are going in the correct direction because there is perspective. You can't just paint the marking on, you have to be considerate of the hair growth direction. I also start adding in some white into the hair where those paint markings occur. Um, I also just like in general shading with lots of white in the mane. And then I just go through here and I'm just gonna detail majority of this piece and that just comes with a lot of acrylic hand painting. So the airbrush is just a base and then the details are obviously painted on top. So using some of those darker and lighter colors that I used in the body, I will accentuate dark points with the darkest colors and light colors on the points that would be technically highlight. So this really adds some depth and dynamic to the piece and because it is flat it adds uh, some three-dimensional effects.
then once I feel happy with the markings, I go in with a Josandra Skin Tone Base to map in that pink snout marking. And I use Vallejo Game Air and Turquoise to do the background. I like to pick background colors that match with the color of the horse the best that I can. This blue turquoise is really fun, really bright and vibrant, so it's very playful. And I like the feel that it gives in contrast to the kind of orangey hue that is occurring in the horse. Then I take some Tan Earth by Vallejo and just add some shading details in the muzzle and paint the entire edge of the medallion with just black acrylic again. And there you have it. Then I went to seal this medallion with Tester's Dull Coat and glossed the eyes and nostrils for realism. The total time of this medallion start to finish was about two hours. I believe that this medallion turned out really fun. It's really great practice, like I said, and I love the way that they turn out and they're fun little inventory pieces to show what you can do as well. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you learned something and happy painting.